Yes. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the, this new session. Um, the topic of today is uh, SLO reporting, uh, some improvement uh, we made uh, in the last uh, uh, sprint. So basically what we wanted to achieve this time is uh, not just having a report which is run uh, uh, every week, but we want to actually see how thought is behaving uh, and uh, how the service level indicators are changing in time. So to do that, we modified the SLO reporter to store on uh, Zev now. And uh, all these data are taken by uh, you and uh, can be visualized on Superset. So we have created this uh, TOT SLI metrics uh, uh, dashboard. This is uh, done currently for the stage environment where SLO reporter is running. And basically we are mapping uh, all the class that we were, uh, uh, that we divided the, the service level indicators in. And you basically see uh, what is happening on the Python world in general. So this is uh, regarding the indexes we monitor. In particular, for example, the PyPy index. So you can see exactly how it's changing uh, every day. So this is shows the changes that are uh, currently happening on PyPy. And you can see how many new packages and how many releases are added every day to PyPy. And this is important for us because we want to understand uh, where we want to uh, reach. I mean, there are still uh, if you compare the number of packages that we are currently considering, we have still uh, a lot of data that we can uh, include to improve uh, uh, advice that we give. And so the, the second step is uh, basically looking at uh, thought itself. So um, what we are currently learning, the indices we, the number of indices we, we consider. And as well here you see uh, the changes in terms of uh, uh, packages that we are uh, adding, and uh, usually there are many more releases. The difference, uh, one of the differences, is that we have uh, solvers. So for the same package, we run uh, the solvers, uh, uh, different solvers we have, and here is this what we see usually. So we have five solvers, and for each of them we need to run uh, for each of the package uh, release. And here, basically, you see the learning rate. So how, if you are continuously learning every day, and if the learning rate is increasing, or if we, if it's above a certain threshold that we usually uh, would like to set. And you can see also when we are adding new solvers, for example. Uh, then there is a, a part more specific to the um, integration of thought, uh, for example, Kebehet. And here we see the number of repositories that are active actively uh, using Kebechet, Kebechet, Kebechet. Uh, and the behavior of uh, like if we are adding new one, oh, sorry, if someone is adding uh, Kebechet or uh, is uh, maybe removing it, hopefully not. Um, then we have some more uh, information regarding the status of our um, user API. So, that actually talk to Tot, so we can see if the um, user API is up, and most of the time it is. Um, for the successful request, uh, we we can see also what is the behavior. And last is the services. So every this is focused on the workflow basically so on the Argo workflow we use, and we can monitor the quality and the latency. Um, of each of our services. So in this way, we can see if there is something that is not going well. For example, if uh, the quality is going down, means that something is happening in the cluster. Um, Superset is uh, quite uh, nice to show all of this. And there is actually some uh, new uh, features that will be added. Uh, one of this could be the alerts. Uh, but it's something that uh, will be added in the future in a new version of Superset. That might be interesting for us to have uh, for alerting also on these kind of things. For example, here you can see that um, we are not gathering the data, and this is uh, not because SLO Reporter is not working, but because uh, we are not able to reach the workflow controller in this case 
because uh, there is something happening that uh, is not allowing us to have them, the data. So this could be something that uh, could give us uh, an alert, for example. And that's it. Any questions? What is your preference, uh, Grafana or Superset? Um, well, Superset is more give you more um, a set of uh, plots or nice visualizations, let's say. But the effort is that uh, you need to move the data from Zef to you and to create the tables and then having those in superset. While Grafana is more meant to be used for alerts because it just uh, read the metrics and it will give you an alarm on that. So, but uh, as I said, in a superset is going to have also alerts in the future. So it's more like uh, if we want to show uh, this kind of uh, visualization that are maybe more easy understandable by everyone. You can immediately see everything. Grafana maybe is more for people that understand uh, the operational side or other uh, things. But I mean, they are both uh, good. They have advantages and disadvantages. So it depends. It depends uh, where we want to go or if want to prioritize one of them, or maybe we can use both. And um, uh, back to the beginning, uh, the SLO reporter is running daily because we want to collect daily uh, statistics. And do we send out that email daily to the AI CUE? Yes, every day, every uh, afternoon, actually. At the end of the day, you see what happened. Or is that, can also change is that something we want to change because um, uh, that is that something we want to change because maybe maybe some people feel a little bit like like a spam bot spam? or something. Yeah. Uh, uh. Well, the other thing is that uh, we can only send the dashboard <laughs> and uh, the cello reporter just run every day. So we collect the day every the day. We still keep to continue to collect those data, but we can just filter the the date, or let's say the day of the week when where we want to send this email. We yeah, let's uh, think email. about that. Maybe uh, maybe sending out uh, each and every day is a little bit too spammy. But um, I think. Uh, to me, the um, visualization of superset and and uh, the cleanness of superset um, is is pretty nice. I really don't like the whole back end, like like we we have to create these tables in a certain format so that we can SQL query them, so that we can visualize them in superset. Therefore, we need to store all that stuff in a certain way on Zef because it needs to be picked up by you and blah blah blah. Um, that feels like, boy, this is something that enterprise companies in the 2000 did, but not something we do now. Now we have uh, Prometheus and Grafana, and that's it. Uh, but the latter might be something for operational aspects, and the dashboard, uh, the superset dashboard, might be something for, I don't know, uh, management reporting or something, because it's it's really a pretty clear view on everything. And we can show the API was up all the time, even though we uh, delivered a few errors, our learnings and our services, the, the quality and the latency of our services is still good. I mean, uh, that's really the, the essence of the SLO reporting in the dashboard. Cool. Thanks. Thank you, too. Any other questions? Thanks.